Little Boo merch, I believe, dropped today. We have a Creature from a Black Lagoon Care Bear. This is the Budget Cut Scare Zone. They just have these terrible vinyl stickers. To uh, Halloween Horror Nights as the popcorn bucket. Okay guys, we are back at Universal Studios Florida. It is time for another Halloween Horror Nights 2024 updates. I've not been here in about a week. We got massive construction updates. Uh, there's new merchandise. So on that note, it's time to go over the HHN shirt of the day. It's gonna be this haunting shirt of Jack, right? His eyes are like staring into your soul from HHN 25. Then we have the all jacked up hat. And I love like the green stitching and then on the back, it says, you know, 1991, 2015. And it says Halloween Horror Nights on the side. Now, the hats were like quality back in the day. So on that note, let's roll the commercial. Okay, welcome back. Again, it's like 100 degrees, but we are full on HHN update season now, so let's head in. All right, now it's still the Olympics. Uh, they do have some more special Olympic food offerings, so we'll be trying that a little later. I cannot wait to see the HHN medallion pop up. It'll be here before we know it, because we are less than 30 days away now. The Halloween Hornets, 33. So when you first come in, They've removed Cabby's car, but they've added all this truss work. I'm gonna guess we got we got the same overhang. It'll say Halloween Horn Nights. Okay, we've been to the New York area, so a lot of you guys have been asking what's going on with the tribute store. Universal sent out emails talking about kind of the VHS tape. Okay, so the email said this. Universal Orlando Tribute Store personalized cassette cover information requests. We'd like to thank you again for your purchase and participation in our 2024 Summer Tribute Store. We are making final decisions on what date to close the store. Our initial plan was to close the store on September 3rd, 2024. Due to the success of the store, we may keep it open longer, possibly to the end of the year. That is showing that it looks like the tribute store is going back to New York for Halloween Horror Nights and the Christmas Tribute Store. And they kind of spoiled that the tribute store is returning here to New York, which makes a lot of sense. They've added a bunch of stuff to the stage. Uh, we're gonna come around the stage. Now they've added some lights right here to the truss work. They've run electrical now to the lights. Nothing yet for the speakers. We also have some stairs here for the performer to walk up the stairs. And then over here again, they've connected the electrical with the light here on the stage. You must have taken a red eye from Hollywood Boulevard, brother. Come on, man. Photo. Yeah, yeah I just, we just want a photo with Mickey. Oh, is this for us? Yes! Oh, and we want a photo with Mickey! Yeah, take a selfie yeah. there. Oh, Remember we were talking about these are yellow and red lights. Now you guys pointed this out, because all back here is all red lights. And in the film, The Quiet Place, they use the red lights. So, it looks like we'll probably have a Quiet Place little food booth back here, because the lights are different. Okay, so Quiet Place is being like the most hyped up kind of internally within Universal. Everybody who has kind of apparently walked through and kind of seen it, they said it's like awesome. Everybody on both coasts are really excited for the Quiet Place. Over here by Fast and Furious, as you know, we have the Major Suites factory. We got some truss work that's been set up right there. And if you look right there, you can see a wall that's been built. More lights. Next to the Coca Cola sign. We're here in San Francisco. They still have not officially confirmed this uh, being the actual spot. This is the Blumhouse scare zone. This kind of makes me mad because this is not what was planned for the scare zone. This is what uh, the budget cuts happened. You'll have a stage here split in half, so you have two different characters. You got some wonderful classic Universal vinyl stickers. You know they love their vinyl stickers here. They have a do not climb sign. So if you look over here along the Blumhouse, you're gonna have an LED strip that's gonna illuminate. So this is the back of the stage and then they have another set of stairs right there. But you can see the power has not been hooked up yet. And you can see up there they haven't connected the uh, power either. But so yeah, they'll have a strip, probably a blue or a green light that'll illuminate right here. And then over here we just get these wonderful vinyl stickers. And then along this edge of the Blum House, we're gonna have some more lights that'll be illuminated. They just haven't been set up. This just looks real cheap. <laughs> What? Now over here, again, you're gonna be entering into the actual Blum House, right? It's kind of an old abandoned house. So this is actually pretty cool. It's made to look like the exposed wood beams. Here we have some handprints, right? Something's happening. So we got that. And then here, what do we have back here? Okay, so this is just a barrel of concrete. So something heavy is gonna be up here connected to that to kind of hold it down. But there's no detailing back here. We got the truss work right here. And then just some more of the exposed wood beams. And now to the bases of the truss work, they've added some more just of that kind of crappy vinyl sticker wrap to make it blend in like the house. So I'm guessing this is gonna be transformed 
into the actual Blum house that you'll be walking through. All right, so we got more projectors all around. All right, then over here we can see the other projector. And then yeah, over there is another projector. So there's three projectors on top of here. So three projectors will have something projected right there right there and then right over here now the speakers have all been hooked up now with electricity but again in all four of the bases you just have this crappy vinyl sticker it just looks so bad that looks look at that we got some serious power over here you hear it running too They've also tied it up to the fence. So we do have another kind of little mini building of the exposed wood, but like you could have paid someone to create that, but right there on the base. But you chose, cause you know, this is the budget cut scare zone to just have these terrible vinyl stickers. Like people want to come in and they want to photograph everything. And if we're just getting vinyl stickers, this is, I'm kind of worried. <laughs> this is my first scares that I'm like, uh, what is going on? So I've never noticed these posters back here, promoting Lombards. And then you come over here and they even have a little Easter egg for Jaws for the Amity Island lobsters. You got Richter's, best place to get a drink after days in the clink. And I like this, they got a little shark right there. Cause you know, Bruce is right next door. As right, so we can see the electrical right there. Then it splits off to the right and it splits off to the left. So we're gonna follow it this way. It goes over here, then goes over there. They got a sandbag, another power cable. We're following it, we're following it. It goes up there, okay. It's gonna keep going this way. Where's it gonna end up? Where's this power cable going? And then the power runs there. And then I think it connects over there, which then connects to right there. So we got another stage over here, more lights, more vinyl stickers, everybody's favorite. Uh, lights have not been hooked up yet over there, but it's gonna be another stage split in half. We'll have different properties on each one of the stages. So four different properties, because there's four different stages now. Like the vinyl stickers just kind of like going over the light. We got some lights here, right? Right above the San Francisco Pastry Company, which will be shining and showing off the vinyl stickers. Now that little poster was referring to the Amity Island Lobster Company over here on this building. And there's also another little nod to Amity right over here. And over in this window, we have the Amity Ship Fitters since 1879. Now over here, again, this is rumored to be the Peacock Bar. We have some lights above the truss work. I'm just crossing my fingers they bring back David S. Pumpkins. The drinks are horrendous last year, but we at least had David S. Pumpkins. So on that note, let's talk about some of the uh, photos that Bioreconstruct got of uh, some of the houses. So then Bioreconstruct tweeted this. July July 29th aerial photos of the back of house area that will soon be part of HHN Halloween Hornets event. Two sprung tents to the right. And then theming at the sprung tent for Halloween Horror Nights is gonna be for Slaughter Cinema 2. We'll have movies being projected on that screen. And then more theming at one of the sprung tents. We can see there's a little bit of movement happening. And then there's also more theming for more of the sprung tents by Reconstruct posted. So we can see a little bit of the facade right there. Right, we're heading into the Wizarding World now. All right, we popped into Nocturnality. Now this little spell was missing. I guess it was, it was under refurb where the little guy kind of climbs up, but it's returned now. So Universal released all the new information about the Wizarding World coming to Epic Universe. We're just gonna show you the fly through today and then in a later video, we'll go over all the details.
Uh, nothing new over by Nightmare Fuel. The rumor is we're gonna have Nightmare Fuel again next year, but again, like a, a different version. That's that's the rumor for next year. Okay, we're heading up to Central Park now. Um, so I just got back from Midsummer Scream in California. So I filmed the whole thing about the kind of Universal uh, Parks little booth because they had a bunch of the merchandise that's gonna be coming to HHN Orlando and HHN Hollywood. So that note, roll the little clip. Front and center, we got the Universal Products and Experiences now showing Creature from the Black Lagoon, Frankenstein, Chucky, Megan. We're gonna enter here. They got posters for Megan. I wonder what Megan merchandise they will have. So we got Megan, we come around the corner. Uh, we got the Universal Monsters design. They've had this design for a couple years. We got the bride right there. We got Frankenstein's monster, Dracula, and then Wolfman. I like that it almost looks like old promotional posters that are just slowly peeling off. We got Chucky right there. Oh, Chucky, he wants you for a best friend. And then we're gonna enter in. Uh, they hand you, oh, I like this. It's old VHS tapes for the Universal Monsters films. Looks like they've collabed with Care Bear. We have a creature from the Black Lagoon Care Bear coming. A mummy one. Are we getting Funko Pops also? Then we have Dracula, a little Dracula Care Bear. Are we getting like a lounge fly? I like this bag of uh, the bride. Then they even have a little bride Funko Pop. They're gonna have makeup of the Universal Monsters Care Bear or press on nails. <laughs> <laughs> Just what you guys want. A lip balm. And then we have this cool bag. It's got all the Care Bears on it. Where you have kind of a matching little wallet. It's gonna be coming to Hot Topic. We have a little golden book coming up the Universal Monsters as Funko Pops. A tarot card deck. A book of Dracula. Oh, look at this creature shirt. That is cool. Now we've seen these lunch boxes for a couple years. I've never seen this print of Creature though. It's a different uh, iteration of them. Creature from the Black Lagoon lives. Little comic. All the new shirts that are coming. We have a jacket for the Universal Monsters Care Bears. A crop top of the Care Bears. So we'll see this stuff pop up within the parks and its stores. One of Dracula. They have a button up shirt of Chucky. This looks like Chucky has no nose. That looks weird. Kind of the classic poster. And we have different versions of Chucky as he gets destroyed. Standard good guy shirt. This is an interesting one of Frankenstein's monster. We have another floral design of the mummy. Got a different shirt design for the Bride of Frankenstein. They got a Wolfman shirt. Oh, this is a cool one, a Dracula. Look at that. This is a little adorable version of Creature. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh, that's a cool like comic version of Creature. Then they got uh, shirts of Megan. I'm sure we'll be seeing this pop up within the parks. This is a cool hoodie. Stay creepy. This is Frankenstein's monster right there. And and then, so I wonder if you'll be able to buy this as a shirt for HHN. And this is like a see-through shirt. You got the bride and Frankenstein's monster on it. They got all these vintage TVs and inside the TVs is playing merchandise and some of the movies. So we just saw that mug pop up at our Universal Studios. We talked about the black light kind of cartoon design of the Universal Monsters that they're re-releasing. Super 7, it's like Creature from the Black Lagoon sneakers. Those are dope. We got a vintage monster map. We got Super 7 glow-in-the-dark Universal Monster figures. The Wolfman Man, Mummy and Frankenstein. Here's a better shot of the Care Bears. So they are gonna be Funko Pops. Tiffany figure coming, and a new Chucky figure, and then we got two new Funkos of Chucky. We got a cool little version of Frankenstein's monster. We got another shirt with the Bride and Frankenstein. But we got some little plushies down here. Dracula, Frankenstein. Oh, look at the Wolf Man. If you're a fan of Creature, they got a Creature dress coming on the skirt. You'll have Creature. Then they also have Creature bag. So they got a little photo op here, so you can be chained up also. There's Creature right here looking at you inside of a porthole. Uh, we get a first look at the Home Depot animatronic of Chucky. Do it, Andy. Mm little terrifying. Then they have a little photo up here of being in the box. And then they got Megan. I believe this Megan figure is also for sale, but they got the box and then two, three, one, and then the life-size Megan figure as a little photo op. Bunch of Chucky merchandise coming, coming to Halloween Horror Nights as the popcorn bucket. So it's gonna have new phrases and uh, the new stitched up face. So it's a little different than last year's. This is coming to Orlando and Hollywood. We got a pillow, little dancing Chucky figure. Here's Chucky uh, with the chainsaw from the TV show from the season finale. We're gonna be getting a Megan Funko Pop for Funko Fusion, another Megan figure, and then we got a Tiffany duck coming, a Chucky coloring book, and then a tumbler. I'm guessing we're gonna get the tumbler also at HHN. Yeah, it's got like a blood design in it. So we'll get this also probably in the parks. Then we have another animatronic coming to Home Depot, a Frankenstein's monster. He's a big guy. Look at his shoes. Every face that he makes just kind of looks like a meme, honestly. This is how every character feels on their last shift. 
They're like, I'm so done. I'm ready to go home. We're gonna head to DreamWorks Land. Last time I was here, they had a couple broken things. Let's so see if Universal has fixed them. It feels like a scare zone because there's all the vinyl stickers. All right, now it's like 100 something degrees. We're in late July, early August, and the water effects are not working. All right, we're gonna head back to Mama Luna's. This is where the little thing was broken last time. Let's see if it's working. It's just been completely removed and they've covered it up. Okay, so they're supposed to have that little thing there. This was broken last time. So it still technically works, but there's just no kind of pushback with a little joystick. And then this one has been uh, bagged up also. All right, so I think this, right, is supposed to move that. Swamp of the Undead. Lots of stuff has been added. Now over here, we have a bunch of different pieces of metal and wood added. We got a boat, and if you look, it's gonna say the Orca. Now. For the Unmasking the Horror Tour, when we went through Dead Man's Pier, they showed us this little Easter egg. Um, so this was hanging kind of in the one of the final rooms from the ceiling in, in the boathouse. So this is reused from Dead Man's from a couple years ago. Still have the Partner Dust sign out, but they've added a bunch of barrels. They've cut in half, right? Because again, this is supposed to look like the water that you're supposed to be walking through. Part of a screened-in porch or screened-in window, some more metal. And another barrel chopped up right over there. And then they've added some camouflage along the fence line. Some little twigs have popped up also. The lights back there. Because they set this all up to be camouflage, right? All the lights are gonna shine through with the fog. It's gonna make a really cool effect. Behind, you can see all the speakers, all the different lights. They've transformed every inch now of the fence line to blend in. So again, more pieces of the wood. Still the little potted plants over here with the dock that has started to collapse. But over here, they've added a barrel right down here next to the boat with the mirror effect. Some more pieces of wood has been added. This is looking good. I cannot wait to see the scare zone during the nighttime. Some more little twigs and branches. We got another boat over here. Some camouflage. Now, above all the lines, you know, they've added like moss and then camouflage to make it blend in as if you're inside of a swamp. And again, we've got more pieces of wood added. Some more barrels. Everywhere you go, they've added little details. It's not like copy and paste. It's like different every couple of feet. So I like that. Again, all the speakers and all the lights are hidden now. It's looking good. We'll be in a swamp. I don't know how much more they need to add though. We've got some barrels over here now. Now these still are not hidden yet, these lights. So I wonder if there's going to be another massive prop that'll pop up to hide these lights. But right now you can still see them. We've got some lights that have popped up back there. And just a little bit more of details being added. The speaker's out here in front, so I wonder if they'll cover that. Some more barrels have been placed right here. So it's happening, man. Looking good. More sticks, more pieces of metal, pieces of wood. Over here they have another boat. It's kind of run aground. So I wonder if we'll see like some victims or something laying there in the boat. We've got power set up now here in Battery Park. They've also added speakers to the truss work. And they also just have some uh, cords chilling here. Okay, cords and zip ties. Guess someone forgot to put that away. Um, but get the light at menu board, speakers, lights. And remember to tell you last time that there's lights even inside the truss work. So this sucker is all lit up. Yeah, they've run all the power now. You can see all the outlets going trust to trust to trust. And over here, we're not going to see too many props pop up because of the parades going to be coming down. $25, they have a little kid's Ghostbuster shirt. $50 for the Ecto-1 toy. Cool because you get a little Slimer action figure that comes with it. And the Ecto-1. And Universal listened. So they made a limited edition Mr. Tape t-shirt. We got the socks over here, right? So you got Mr. Tape socks. We got a limited edition. But they got shirts. $27. This is the shirt. If not rewound, you won't be found. So they got a new custom sign. Purchase a Mr. Tape t-shirt today. Thank you to my adoring fans. So down here it says, this is a real shirt. You did it. However, Mega Video Rentals does want you to continue to rewind your video rentals as we are unsure what Mr. Tape may do. Brought to you by the Mega Video. $50. We got a new Slimer figure. Squash and squeeze. 40 different sayings. He burps. It also looks like he picks his nose a little bit. All new Ghostbusters merchandise. We have a ringer short sleeve shirt, $33. Kind of like the design, but I also hate the color choices because this just kind of looks like cheese whiz or like melted cheese instead of like slime. It should have been green there instead. But you got the Ecto, Slimer, Stay Puff. Who are you going to call? The Librarian, the Ghost Trap, $18. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. And that same design, at least it's green. Then that same design is going to be some white socks. And then $70 for the blanket with those designs. 
designs on it. $20 and they have a mug. Okay, at least now it doesn't have the cheese whiz. It has the actual slime around the Ghostbusters logo. $10 for a shot glass. Who are you gonna call? $25, they have like a mini tumbler. Who are you gonna call? And then it's got those same designs on the tumbler. It's got a plastic straw above. $30, they have a standard gray shirt. This looks a little bit better with the how everything was colored, but it says, who are you gonna call? $33 for this kid's tie-dye green shirt. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. $65, we have the Ghostbusters logo right there. And then within the logo, you're gonna see all the different ghosts. And then along the sleeve, you're gonna have Slimer, the Stay Puff and the Ecto. $30 for some glow-in-the-dark drawstring tie-dye bag with the Ghostbusters logo right there. If you look closely, you'll see that same imagery of the ghosts, but it's got a lime green strap. $29 for this trucker cap. It says, who you gonna call? And then it just looks like Cheese Busters. We also got a four-pack Slimer, Stay Puff, Ecto, Ghostbusters logo. You're looking at $10 for this button set. We showed this off a week ago, but $35, they have the wall sign. $2,000, you can get Back to the Future Part 3 DeLorean when it's on the railroad. There's even a little hoverboard you can see inside the DeLorean. There's a new Ecto-1, little license plate. It's a magnet. $15 for the magnet. Popped into five a dime. We got some new creatures stuff the legend of the river you can see creature right there it's a water bottle with a little strap $27 $30 of new creature from the black lagoon shirt strange legends in the amazon it's like a cartoon design $23 we got a little kid shirt the journey continues we'll be going into NBC sports grill brew well they got the open kitchen you smell everything cooking okay so the first thing we got on the uh, Paris Olympic special menu option we got the uh, cheeseburger croquettes stuffed with American cheese ground beef applewood smoked bacon and Yukon mash and topped with a bacon jam, sweet relish, and secret sauce. That looks like a hamburger chicken nugget. And that is sinfully greasy. Okay, those cheeseburger croquettes were like 8.5. So good. Um, it was just kind of like a chicken nugget hamburger. Greasy and so fatty. The bacon jam had this great sweetness to it. It's time for the main entree. We got the French onion dip patty melt, two smashed beef patties, Gruyere cheese, caramelized onions, a jus aioli on Texas toast, served with a cup of French onion soup. French onion melt, pretty decent, 8.5. Not the best French onion kind of melt or burger I've ever had. Uh, that one, I think is a deluxe burger. That one is awesome. Really good, rich onion flavor within there. Okay, we're finally heading out of Universal Studios right now. Let's go back to the office. Okay guys, we are back in the office. Uh, that's right, we got Mr. Tape merch. Finally, so we got the socks and the shirt. I'm glad Universal's kind of listening to their fan base. Now, this is a very limited run of the Mr. Tape shirts. So once they're gone, they're gone. So we have some fun little HHN construction updates today. Uh, we will be having Little Boo merch, I believe, drop today. They kind of teased an image of it. It honestly just kind of looks like the same Little Boo merch we got from last year, but they just tweaked the colors a little bit. Now, you guys might be a little confused because they haven't dropped the merch yet for, uh, you know, Monstros 2 yet, out in in Hollywood, that's because it's on Amazon. I don't know how I feel about that. Quality of shirts on Amazon don't last too long, but you can buy the Monstros 2 shirt. You can also buy it in a wide variety of different colors on Amazon. So just type in Monstros 2 and you will be able to purchase that shirt. But I, I don't like the shirts on Amazon. They don't hold out very well, but if you want the shirt for one night use, there you go. So guys, on that note, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you have not already, hit the subscribe button and join the family. I love the family. Because I'm gonna keep you up to date on all things Halloween Horror Nights in Universal Studios around the country. I love you all, and I'll see y'all very soon. Man, it just looks like cheese busters. Hey, no, 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 no. Don't tell Hooterade here, what the heck?